Is Baba Ramdev finally off the hook? Well, that's the question that we're asking on the back of contempt proceedings that we saw in the highest court of the country, the Supreme Court. Keep in mind, the contempt proceedings launched by the Apex Court against Baba Ramdev and Patanjali Ayurved was listed for hearing today. Baba Ramdev, as per earlier directions, appeared in person once again uh, to extend his apology. What's different, however, this time uh, is the second series of advertisements that were put out by Patanjali Ayurved. Keep in mind uh, that just, and this is just the hindsight here, uh, a series of advertisements had been put out initially. This is round one. Uh, these ads were much smaller, were inconspicuous, uh, were more in the nature of a classified ad. That's in fact an observation that fell uh, from the Apex Court bench itself. And this in fact had inspired a line of questioning from the Apex Court, which was more in the direction of why are these ads not prominent? That's uh, a question that was asked. In fact, the Supreme Court also asked if these ads were as prominent as the ads that Patanjali Ayurved had put out uh, for advertising its own products. Now, that is what inspired round two of advertisements. After taking legal advice from the councils, Patanjali Ayurved uh, came out with a second series of advertisements which were much larger, which were much more prominent, spread across various leading national dailies. And these advertisements today were put on record, uh, were placed before the Apex Court. And this is something that has been welcomed uh, by the Apex Court. The Supreme Court observed uh, that there's a marked difference in the two series of ads. Also, in fact, welcomed these advertisements saying that uh, this demonstrates uh, uh, the intent of Patanjali Ayurved to communicate its unconditional apology to the top court of the country, to communicate to this to the public, and that this has been recorded in various leading national dailies. So to that end, being welcomed here by the top court of the country, that's part one. The other part of the story is whether or not Baba Ramdev will now have to appear. This is something that he has have been have had to do. He's been made to appear before the highest court of the country and this is something that was a relief sought by Mukul Rohatki appearing for Baba Ramdev. Mukul Rohatki had sought for an exemption uh, from personal appearance for Baba Ramdev and in light of the second series of advertisements which have now been welcomed uh, by the Supreme Court, Supreme Court recording there's a marked difference. Now, at least for the next hearing, an in interim relief has been granted, an exemption has been granted, granted uh, to Baba Ramdev from personally appearing in these contempt proceedings uh, before the highest court of the country. Uh, but that's just one side of the story. The other side, of course, is the Supreme Court seeking answers as to why no action was taken against him uh, by the entire regulatory mechanism. Specific pointed questions being raised against the Uttarakhand Licensing Authority. And on receipt of these questions, an affidavit was filed in response uh, by the SLA, the State Licensing Authority for Uttarakhand, where they've pointed out at least two key actions that they've taken. Uh, to begin with, uh, the affidavit by the SLA of Uttarakhand has said that uh, at the very outset they would like to apologize unconditionally uh, to the top court. But the two important actions that they've highlighted, number one, is that criminal action has been initiated against Patanjali Ayurved as well as Baba Ramdev and that this process has been set in motion. That's one. The second is the manufacturing license for as many as 14 Patanjali Ayurved products have now been suspended. Uh, the SLA clarified that this suspension is in effect for three months and that this is an action uh, that is directly taken under the legal framework available uh, to the state licensing authority. But that has not completely satisfied the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has still asked further questions as to why it required a push from the Apex Court. Why did the Apex Court have to reprimand uh, the S SLA to spring into action? Why was no action taken? Uh, why, were, despite very blatant violations, the SLA was hesitant in taking any action? Very specific pointed questions being asked of various officers. This is something uh, that the officers will now have to make good, will have to clarify by way of an affidavit. So clearly, Baba Ramdev may be off the hook, at least not in, in terms of personal appearance, not having to appear before uh, the court for the next hearing. But the Supreme Court still has lots of questions in store for the licensing authorities as to why no action was taken earlier against Baba Ramdev. Make informed decisions with comprehensive analysis on the go. Strengthen your portfolio with real-time market updates on the go.
Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinions on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV18. Now streaming live 24-7 on YouTube.